Today is a relatively sad day for the fleet as the 200 euro kilometers crappy Clio departs. Now, I was concerned that I might have to scrap it because, I mean, who the hell's looking for one of these? But uh, thankfully, somebody is. Um, it's not going to get scrapped, but it is going to get broken for parts, is my understanding. Which, again, is a bit of a shame, but at least bits of it will live on in, uh, in the Clio that's going to donate its organs to. So I'm just going to clear out all the rubbish that's in here. The new ownership here in about half an hour. And uh, I'm going to have to bid it farewell. For the last time, then, let's turn her on. Immobiliser. Purrs like a little kitten. So it's time then for the Clio's final journey in my ownership. Now I'm on, uh, oh wait, there's the reverse, there we go. Uh, I'm on private property. So I'm just gonna literally reverse this, we're on a hill, so I'm just gonna drop it into neutral, which I have done. I literally roll it down the hill. There we go. It's actually a lot more difficult filming on your phone and driving. Make sure to crush into my 306, which I haven't done, which is a success. Now the clutch on this thing's a little bit iffy, hang on a minute. There we go, we have the biting point, one-handed steering, and there we go. So again, just out of first gear and in neutral. So, yeah. Oh, brakes are squeaky. Pump them a little bit there, and the final journey. It's complete. That's it. Handbrake's good. So, uh, yeah, my... I mean, since last October, what's that? My, we're in July. My nine-month ownership of the Clio is at an end. Uh, I was going to say it's been a cracking car. It hasn't. It's been a heap of crap. Uh, and it's been like a millstone around my neck, as I mentioned in previous videos with the indicator issues. But uh, I am glad that it's going to be moved on. At least its organs are going to be used because it's going to be donating them to a clear that will be kept on the road. But uh, yeah, a lesson to be learned there. Don't buy something because you want it and because it's cheap. Use the head. Don't follow the heart. See ya, thank you. So away goes the world's worst Renault Clio Island's worst car. Uh, lovely gentleman there. Uh, so he's going to break it for parts and pop it on his own Clio uh, transfer over the organs, which, you know, look, ideal scenario it stays on the road, but it's a little bit too knackered in parts. And the indicators, of course, as I've said many times, are the big issue. So I'm just going to rest peacefully in the knowledge that parts of it are going to live on in another Clio. That's all then from the happy Clio.